Welcome back, everyone. Have you ever wondered what causes the ground to shake or a mountain to spew lava into the sky? Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating connection between volcanoes and earthquakes. Are these natural disasters linked? And if so, how? Let's find out. Understanding tectonic plates first, we need to understand the concept of tectonic plates. The Earth's outer shell, or lithosphere, is divided into large slabs known as tectonic plates. These plates float on the semi-fluid layer beneath them called the asthenosphere. The movement of these plates is responsible for many of the Earth's geological activities, including both volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. These plates are constantly moving, although very slowly, just a few centimeters per year. But even this slight movement can cause significant geological events. What causes earthquakes? Let's talk about earthquakes first. An earthquake occurs when there is a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust, typically because of the movement of tectonic plates. This release of energy sends seismic waves through the ground, which is what we feel during an earthquake. Most earthquakes occur along plate boundaries, where plates are either colliding, pulling apart, or sliding past each other. The stress that builds up at these boundaries can cause the rocks to break or slip, resulting in an earthquake. What triggers volcanic eruptions? Now, let's switch gears to volcanoes. A volcanic eruption occurs when magma from beneath the Earth's crust breaks through to the surface. But what causes this to happen? Volcanic activity is often linked to the movement of tectonic plates as well. For example, at divergent boundaries, where plates are pulling apart, magma can rise up from the mantle to fill the gap, forming new crust as it cools, this is how mid-ocean ridges are formed. At convergent boundaries, where one plate is forced under another, the subducted plate melts and forms magma, which can eventually lead to a volcanic eruption. The tectonic connection so, how are these two phenomena connected? The answer lies in the tectonic movements we just discussed. Both earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are results of the immense forces at work as tectonic plates move. For instance, in a subduction zone, as one plate is pushed beneath another, it can cause both an earthquake and volcanic activity. The earthquake occurs due to the pressure and friction between the plates, while the melting of the subducted plate creates magma that could fuel a volcanic eruption. Real-world examples to see this connection in action, let's look at some real-world examples. The Ring of Fire, a horseshoe-shaped area in the Pacific Ocean, is one of the most seismically active regions on Earth. It's home to about 75% of the world's active and dormant volcanoes and experiences frequent earthquakes. For example, the 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan was not only a devastating seismic event but also triggered a tsunami and increased activity in nearby volcanoes, showcasing the complex interplay between these natural forces. Predicting and preparing understanding the connection between volcanoes and earthquakes helps scientists better predict and prepare for these events. By monitoring seismic activity, we can sometimes predict when a volcano might erupt, giving people crucial time to evacuate or prepare. While we can't prevent these natural disasters, our growing understanding of tectonic movements helps us mitigate their impact on human lives. And that's the connection between volcanoes and earthquakes, two powerful forces of nature driven by the movement of tectonic plates. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the wonders of our planet.